Howdy folks, some uh, river rafters there. Going down the Ganges River here in Rishikesh, India. Awesome day for uh, floating down a river. So I'm here on this little uh, platform. I think it used to be a shrine of some sort right here. But there was massive flooding last year during the monsoon. And I'm guessing that uh, the water came up to this level, up this high, and washed away um, what had been here before. Because I remember there being more of a platform here uh, and something on top of it, I forget. But you can see something happened here that uh, destroyed it pretty good and there's a bunch of sand in there. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to walk over to this other area over there. I thought that I would, uh, on the way, discuss the concept of how to be more focused because this is certainly a issue for most people to some extent is having things that they want to do and yet not getting around to getting them done not quite finding the the impetus the genuine desire the uh, um, the will to make it happen and so I'm going to uh, just give a few tips from my own experience. One thing to keep in mind is that a hell of a lot can be accomplished when you do a little bit every day. If you have this, this grand vision of a million things that you're going to supposedly get done, then that can be incredibly daunting. It's kind of like when all of the, uh, the dishes piled up, pile up for days or weeks and soon you have this huge pile of dishes that has become this daunting task that's going to take hours, then it's really easy to decide, to decide, you know what, I think I'll just order takeout and uh, put it off for another day. Or just wash your plate, whatever, and not do it. So um, if you have this concept of your, in your mind of, of all this stuff that you feel you should or want to get done, then that can be overwhelming. To narrow it down instead and just say, okay, today I'm going to write two pages of my book. That's all I have to do today, and then I'm going to go off and go for a walk in the park or go grab a beer or whatever else I want to do. But to um, get things down into manageable chunks that you can actually reasonably accomplish. And then you never know, maybe you get started, keep going, and then realize you're, you're really into it and you get more done than you had uh, expected. But just to be reasonable with what um, you can actually accomplish without putting too much pressure on yourself. Just to get a little something done every day or so and uh, that can really add up to a lot over the course of months or years. The second thing is to keep in mind what do you actually want to do? If you have a long list of things you think you should do, then there's a good chance you won't get around to doing them. And if you do, then it's going to be <laughs> like pulling teeth. If you have this idea of a, of a book you think you should write, but you're not actually feeling the inspiration, you're trying to come up with the words, trying to make it happen, then it's just going to be an excruciating exercise, and most likely your finished product will not be all that, uh, all that great. So to figure out what do you actually want to do with your life, things that actually inspire you, that you genuinely feel called to, to, uh, to jump into, and focus on those things. I'm going to give a quick little uh, anecdote here of how we can get pulled off of, of our purpose, our mission, what we're trying to get accomplished by others. So I'm here in India, traveling around, and uh, I've been to India um, five times before this. And things are, are different here. There are tests and challenges, challenges that come about that, uh, that really push you and pull you in ways that you 
might not have experienced in your life elsewhere. So, for example, you're in Delhi, the capital of India, and uh, you want to go get a train ticket. There's this area called Pahargaj, which is the main backpacker traveler's hangout spot. And it is a long bazaar, as, as it's called, of various shops and markets and things. Uh, and this leads in a straight line down to the train station. And so in the course of walking to the train station, you're going to pass a lot of shops and whatnot. You're also going to pass uh, beggars. You're going to pass rickshaw drivers. And a lot of these people are going to try to get your attention and try to get you to do stuff. You'll have people, shopkeepers, who uh, have devised all these various tactics to get people into their shops. So you'll be walking by and they will guess your nationality. And uh, they'll say, German, eh? And, uh, and then you say yes or no. And then they use that as a way to try to get into a conversation with you. They will put out their hand and ask to shake your hand which is something that's kind of hard to refuse. And then they'll perhaps hold on to your hand and not let go and try to get you in a conversation that way. If you say, well, I, you know, I have something to do, I'm, I'm off, I'm on a mission, I gotta get my train ticket. And they'll say, just one second, I give you my card, it's in my shop, here, come one second. And then they get you in, into your, uh, their shop and then they uh, start pulling stuff out and saying, oh, just really quick, no buy, no buy, blah, blah, blah. And they do whatever they can to keep you there and try to push their stuff on you, get you to buy something. You will also have beggars coming up to you and asking for rupees. It could be a woman with children, really pulls on your heartstrings. They will follow you for, for blocks and not let go and try to wear you down um, and uh, get you to give them something. You'll have the, the rickshaw drivers asking you for a ride, maybe even following you along, following along beside you, like, come on, very cheap, very cheap, whatever. And so it is a real test of staying focused, of keeping on your mission, and of not letting yourself get pulled around by guilt, which is a big issue in life in general, is that of people using guilt to try to get you to do what they want you to do and to try to get from you what they want to get from you. And this can come in various forms, obviously. The, you know, the woman with the, uh, with the children, the beggar woman, it's hard to refuse. You know, the, uh, a few rupees might actually help them out. Should I give them some money or should I not? And all of these little things can, I mean, you could, not get there, even though it's only a 15 minute walk, you might not make it there for hours if, if uh, you allow yourself to get pulled and um, pushed around by other people's expectations. And so it is a real test of inner strength and, and, uh, and purpose to not let other people dictate your, your day, what you're going to be accomplishing that day and to be able to say no and to uh, keep on walking, as it were, literally or figuratively, in order to accomplish what, what you've set out to accomplish for yourself for that day. So when I first came to India, then I was much more um, feeling you know, pulled around by these various things and feeling guilty and, and uh, uh, feeling like, well, I should buy something because this person just spent all this time with me trying to sell me this stuff and uh, you know here this beggar woman could really use a few rupees and then uh, if you give her some money then a whole cast of children could come out of the woodwork uh, um, also expecting to get some rupees and so you just have to um, come to a place of self-acceptance of I can't solve all the world's problems I can't make everybody happy I'm going to piss people off no matter what I do um, and so screw it, I'm just going to do what I've set out to do and, and make my priorities uh, important enough that other people are just going to have to um, you know, deal with it and accept that I have, I have other stuff to do.
so that is a, a real test of, of inner strength, is simply to come to that place of self-acceptance of, of uh, yes, I would love to be able to meet everybody's obligations and expectations, but I got shit to do, and, uh, and I'm going to make that a priority. Um, so the last little thing that I'll mention is just the concept of making lists. Not a new uh, idea, obviously, but I'm a, I'm a big list maker. I, I have a journal, and uh, mostly it's just filled up with just uh, ideas for video titles and um, writing ideas and, and just the things that I want to accomplish. And when you jot something down, then you can then you can uh, forget about it, basically. You can, you can not be carrying that around in your mind and know that, that it's there and you're uh, going to, to be re reminded of it later. And uh, when you're wondering, what, okay, what am I doing next? You can go back and look and see what, what you came up with. So um, just to always be just jotting down whatever. So you have an idea, um, however strange, wacky, weird, uh, inconsequential it might seem, might as well just jot it down, and uh, who knows what will come of it, what other idea might kind of ping off of it, and it is a matter of intention, of, of once you write something down, it's no longer just in your head, it's, it's written down, and uh, it's going to be sort of demanding your attention a little bit, saying, hello, I'm an idea you came up with, are you going to do something here, or, or aren't you? Um, so, uh, there you go. Just a few thoughts off the top of my head of how to be focused on what you really want to accomplish in your life. Take care. And I'll just uh, do a quick little panorama of the awesome scene.